Hi, I'm Andrew. Today I would like to teach you how to find the x and the y intercepts of the following rational function of x squared plus x plus 6 divided by x squared minus 10x plus 24. So in order to do this, what I'm first going to do is uh, whenever I have a complex rational function, trying to find the x and y intercepts, I always want to have this thing in a fully factored form because really what I want to check is I want to check to see if any factors will cancel. Because if factors cancel, that can affect my x and the y intercepts from what it first appears, what might be the x and the y intercepts. All right, so really, the whole point of the factoring is to check to see if any factors will cancel. And you better do that before you actually work the problem. So you better. My God, I sound... I didn't mean like you have to. You, you should. I highly recommend you do it. Um, so let's factor the top. So what you're thinking of is two numbers that multiply to 6 but yet add to positive 1. Now, wait a minute. Hmm? What two numbers add to po multiply to positive 6 but yet add to positive 1? I can't think of any, can you? So what that means is that these are going to be imaginary. All right, imaginary roots. Now, I'm not really worried about this. Remember, the whole goal is because I want to see if factors will cancel. So if I have imaginary roots on the top, uh, and I have now imaginary roots, let's say, on the bottom, then I probably want to investigate this a little bit further. Uh, but if these are going to be real roots now on the bottom and imaginary roots on the top, I know there's going to be no common factors, right? Because it's imaginary and then there's real roots, all right? So let's see if we can factor this now. Can we factor the bottom? Well, two numbers that multiply to positive 24 but yet add to negative 10. Oh, right. That's just going to be a negative 6 and a negative 4. That multiplies the positive 24, right, the negative 6 and the negative 4, but yet adds the negative 10. So I know that there's imaginary on the top and real on the bottom. So guess what? I actually don't care. I don't need it in fully factored form because I know nothing's going to cancel. Okay? I know nothing is going to cancel. So what we're going to look to do now is we're going to look to uh, try and set this up. All right? So we're going to try and solve now for the x-intercept and then the y-intercept. All right, we'll put the y-intercept over here, y-intercept. All right, so to do the x-intercept, what you're going to do is you're going to take this f of x, you're going to take the f of x and set it equal to 0, and then you're going to solve for x, okay? So what we have now is we're going to plug in 0 for your f of x, and then you're going to have some imaginary root, so let's just do x squared plus x plus 6, all being divided by now the denominator. I'll leave this in fully factored form, x minus 6 and x minus 4. All right, so basically what's going to happen here, when you cross multiply this function now to solve for your x, or you would cross multiply here, you're going to take the denominator and multiply it by 0, so what happens? Well, the whole denominator just goes away. So basically what happens is you take your numerator and you set that equal to zero. That's how you're going to find the x-intercept. Okay, take your numerator and set it equal to zero. That's going to give you the x-intercept. Okay, and here's the thing. We already know that these are going to be imaginary roots, right? We already mentioned that. So guess what? There are no real x-intercepts. So there's no real x-intercept. No real x-intercept, okay? Now we're going to do the same thing for the y. Now what you're going to do when you do the y-intercept is you're going to uh, basically take the, you're going to set all of the x values equal to 0, and you're going to solve now for um, f of x, okay? So what we're going to do is write out f of x equals, now everywhere you see an x in this function, put a 0. So this is 0 squared plus 0 plus 6, all over then 0 squared minus 10 times 0 plus 24. And what are you left with after you simplify it? Well, you're left with 6 over 24. And what does that work out to be? That works out to be 1 fourth. So this is indeed now your uh, y-intercept. In other words, the coordinate of the y-intercept is always going to be x equaling 0, and y now is the 1 fourth. So this is the coordinate, okay? So let's see if what we concluded now, the no real x-intercepts and that x, that y-intercept is true. So go to your calculator and plug in the function. Do parentheses now. x squared plus x plus 6, close parentheses, divided by, open them, x squared minus 10x, do, 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 plus 24. 
and hit graph. Okay, now let's see now what we what we notice here is now it's tough to really tell, but let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, let's go to zoom two. All right, and what looked like before now this will be a little hard. Uh, let me let me yeah this is good enough. Okay, just trust me on this one. So if you notice this thing, if you if you saw it from before, it kind of trailed on out and it's going to trail on up a little bit. It looked like all right. And so notice it doesn't, it does not intersect the x-axis, but it does intersect the y-axis. And doesn't this look like roughly like a quarter, right? If this, if this is one unit and the half is here, that looks about halfway roughly, okay? So that is the y-intercept, the one-fourth. If we zoom back out, okay, go to zoom standard, right? You can even, I will zoom out one more. Let's go to zoom three, okay, to zoom out. You see how this function now there's going to be nowhere it's going to cross that x axis okay so you know hopefully hopefully that kind of helps it's tough to see though with this picture but they're not real anyway okay that's it guys i appreciate it very much thank you so much for tuning in um if i could do anything else to help you um i'm going to leave a whole bunch of goodies and stuff in the description below and um, we really love to help you through your classwork. We have thousands of videos out there. Check out our channel, not only in math, but chemistry and physics as well. I'll see you soon.